Hi guys, welcome back to the Scrap Zone and my 52 weeks project. We are on week 21, so let's dive right in. Now I'm going to use this last sketch right here, and apparently I did not hit the go button on my recording when I was putting this together. So it's all put together here. I did use that really nice paper and I used the back of it and I felt that it looked like kind of like the sky or something. It really worked with my pictures. But I did want to add a little bit of um, oomph, I guess, to my layout. So I pulled out this really nice die cut border and I'm just going to add it in between those two pieces between the pattern and the cardstock. Now this is that beautiful bluebell color and I've used the light side and the solid piece at the back is the dark side. So it just gives that really nice contrast without overpowering the page because it's not a big page and I want the pictures to be the focus of this page right here. So I'm going to trim these off right quick and then we are going to continue on with this assembly. Now I pulled out the stitch bracket and I printed this on my computer and then I'm just going to trim the access off onto the left side and I really like the way that that turned out. It's very simple. Uh, you just kind of put it into your printer and you print on cardstock and then you just run it through your die cut machine and you've got a perfect title every time. So I'm using the thin 3D foam tape here and it looks like I need to order a whole bunch more because I'm running low and I'm just going to add this right here. So I'm going to make sure that my two peaks are lined up and I'm going to add my title to this page. Now this was kind of a funny week and you're probably thinking, oh doesn't she have great kids? They're doing her gardening for her? Well, not to throw them under the bus but uh, it was a rough week homework wasn't being done and a few things weren't being done around the house so the internet went off and this is what happens when the internet goes off in my house they have more time to help mom so anyways they are good kids but sometimes I just have to bring them back to um, reality and if you know their currency it's amazing what they'll do to get it back Anyway, so back to the assembly of this page. So I am stamping my little weeks here, uh, the little tiles in Bluebell ink. And when I do use, um, they're kind of solid, these pieces, and I kind of press down and I hold it just a little bit. It's not just a quick up and down. Like You kind of have to let the ink soak into your cardstock. So just give it a little minute and you'll get a really good impression every time. So I've gone ahead and I've cut those off camera and uh, I think you've seen me do this before I leave little tails on my little tiles only because sometimes I like to sneak them underneath a photo or a photo mat but in this case right here I'm going to add them to my title and I think that they look good right up beside that title. So I'm going to add my little journaling but I want to make sure I'm not covering some of that picture because they took pretty much every tool they could out of the garage to try and get that shrub out and that thing was there it's been there for 10 years it's stuck in clay so you know it was kind of kind of funny to see them kind of work together and they didn't really succeed on the first day so my husband had to go out and help them on day number two so here is my journaling about that and uh, I didn't want it to float at the bottom of my page so I added these two little pearls and it kind of anchors everything into that corner. So I'm going to add a couple here right at the top so I'm going to do three and uh, this layout came to together pretty quickly actually and uh, I'm actually pretty surprised that I selected this pattern paper here beside the photos because it wasn't my favorite but it really matches the photos. The photos had a lot of color, a lot of green and purple and obviously they weren't coordinating for my photo of the week so it actually worked out. So if you have been following this project you will know that at the end of each month I do what I call a little summary page. So I repeat a lot of the same elements and I print it again on my printer and I'm going to add here a few of those um, 
leftovers that I have, I'm going to bring back my trusty script stamp and I'm going to use this color here, grape. Now you might think, really grape with this uh, pattern paper? And it actually works quite nicely if you use the second generation stamping. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to stamp that. And it was a little bit dark. It still matched, but it was kind of like I want it to be more subdued. So I'm going to stamp right here. And this is what you call second generation stamping. If you're new to stamping, this might be something that uh, you didn't know that you could do. Like you can definitely stamp first time and second time and you get different colors. So you extend the color of your ink pad. And see now it's not fighting, it's kind of like a background color. So I'm going to bring in here a little bit of uh, ink distressing or blending if you want with my little blending brush. And I'm just going to add it to the edges of the, this is the front side of my half little page. And I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to add some here as well. Now it did go a little darker than I wanted, but once it dried, it was okay. Like it really didn't bother me. So we're going to add our pattern paper here and you'll see that I'm putting like just little strips of ink, uh, not sorry, not ink, glue. Uh, looks like I'm putting a lot, but it really is a very tiny little amount of glue on that pattern paper. And the reason why I use glue is because I can tap that piece right into place, as you can see right here. And then I know that I've got it all lined up and it works quite well. So let me bring back my scraps here. This particular pattern paper, if you cut it on the vertical, you get a really nice strip. So I thought that was pretty nice. And I'm just lining it up here just to make sure I'm not wasting glue. No point in wasting glue because that's probably the one thing you need the most in your scrapbooking room. And I'm just going to line this up. And just like that, I've got a decorative strip that I cut out of my pattern paper. So I'm just going to snip this and we are going to bring in that stamp uh, of the year for the month of May. I did go ahead and I stamped this image here in sapphire ink because I wanted to let it dry because I'm going to use markers to color that in. Usually you use a alcohol marker friendly ink, but if you really let it dry, you can use your markers with it. So I'm just kind of positioning everything here and I'm looking at this stamp set and every half page I added a few of those words but for the month of May for me they really didn't work out so I thought okay maybe the flowers no that's too much so I brought back my leftover stickers and I thought you know what I am going to cut those hexagons and I'm going to make them work like these little words but I'm going to use the stickers so I tried it with the word work and yes, I know, I'm going to cut that out. But you know what? It was stuck on my sticker sheet and I wouldn't have used it otherwise. So I thought, you know what? Let's cut this out and let's add it to your half page. And that way, I kind of feel good about it because I've used this paper collection quite a bit this month. And this, th these were the leftovers. So I'm kind of using them in a different way but it's absolutely working with my project. So remember I told you I wanted to color that image in, so I use these tri-blend markers and they're great. They're super easy to use. And because my stamped image is nice and dry, it's not bleeding. Now, if you remember at the beginning of the month, I actually used watercolor and I actually found that that was a little bit harder and trickier than actually using the tri-blend markers. And, um, I really like the way that this turned out and even if it's not an ink that is marker friendly you can still do it I really try to stay away from the edges of the stamped image and it it turned out quite nicely actually so quickly here I'm just gonna add a little bit of color to the flowers the leaves and this little jar here um, I'm just gonna add a little bit of shadowing inside and just along this one side right here and we're going to call this good like it doesn't have to be overdone um, and these little half pages are 
pretty much done all in the same way. So I just kind of try and keep it simple. I'm going to go ahead here and quickly I'm going to fussy cut this. And as you know, I'm not a, an expert at cutting, but when you rotate your cardstock with your scissors, like kind of both of them at the same time, it just makes it a lot easier to um, cut an image. Now I am a left-handed crafter, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but um, I can still manage to do this with these micro tip scissors. They're actually really, really good. So just be patient with yourself and if fussy cutting is not your jam, it really isn't mine either, but you can get through it. I'm going to add a few gems here in between my words because that's kind of the theme of these little pages, but I didn't want to introduce another color, so I brought my tri-blend marker, the darkest shade, and I just colored those little guys in, and they looked really, really good. So I'm going to just pop those down, add my little image with 3D foam tape, and we're pretty much done here. So we're done the entire month of May. We're starting June very soon. I'll get back to June very soon, I promise. But I really like the way that this turned out. So I'm just going to pop those little holes and I'm going to put this in my book. So see, you've got the month of May, April, and then this is May. So I'm getting really close to the edge of my, um, my ring binder here like right into the center and that's when you kind of get in trouble but I really want to add one last month because in my head it's half a year in one book and it should work so I'll be back and I'll catch you in the next video for the month of June as always thank you so much for hanging out with me today and don't forget to take pictures <laughs>